in. Turkey Allah Sheik says he wants to make Crawford versus Boots. Um, also, he wants Benavidez to fight the winner, a better BF Bevel, and he want to make Crawford and Canelo down the line. Now, people say, well, he don't want to make Benavidez and Canelo. Well, Canelo bitch ass don't want to fight. So, what can you do? And a lot of y'all ain't gonna demand it. Y'all gonna make excuses. I mean, it's just so much feminine energy in the box community, bro. Niggas getting online, lying about situations and how they was gonna do shit. To me. These niggas is bitches, dog. And the fans is too. Because a lot of these fans, they see you at these fights or they see you in public and they be the main ones talking shit online and then when they see you, they act like it's all love. These niggas, they females, bro. I keep telling y'all. Any dude online telling you how, well, Canelo don't need to, you know, fight Ben Davidez. Or Earl don't have to fight Ten uh, have to fight uh Terrence Craw uh, uh Terrence Crawford, man. You know, oh Tank's a star and Tank is selling this and man, dude, get out of here. Ain't none of these ninjas no real stars, to be honest with you. To keep it funky with you. Ain't none of these ninjas no real stars, for real. None of these Canelo ain't touched a million pay-per-views. He made Saturday or come close. I think he ain't touched a million quite some time, bro. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, Team Crawford been consistent. You give me the money, we can fight. I offered the dude to fight. People said, well, you know, Zab said it wasn't a real offer. Who the fuck is Zab Judah? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I fuck with Zab. Who is Zab to talk about another man's business? The man came on online and said, we offered you to fight twice. The daddy said, well, we loyal to Showtime. Cool. He hopped out the WBO ranking. We're going to see if they really want to fight. I'm telling you, man, them motherfuckers just be talking. They just be talking them. If Turkey out of she can't get the fight done, then they don't want to fight. Because in reality, that man don't deserve that fight. But everything y'all was saying, how Crawford didn't deserve Errol Spence, and he ain't done enough, or Benavidez ain't done enough, Right? Oh, Devin and Shakur ain't done enough, or Tio ain't done enough to fight uh, Javante Davis and all that shit, man. Oh, he got to do more, and you know, he ain't a star. It's always moving the bar. And what's so funny about it, a lot of these niggas, they, these companies going broke. These companies going broke, lying, telling y'all niggas are stars. But look here, how thirsty networks are for content. Listen to me. How thirsty networks are for content. They not letting, letting those stars walk away. They not letting no money generators walk away. Content so bad at some, especially in the summertime if it ain't no Olympics on. Content is so bad on on TV that ESPN putting on the tag team world championships, bro. Think about that. They putting on the tag team world championships. So they not letting no 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 ticket pullers walk away. They not letting no stars just walk away. I'm telling y'all that. These niggas ain't no stars. I hear the real numbers, bro. I hear them. I hear them. I hear him. I hear the real numbers. So at the end of the day, if he can't get the fight done with Jerron Ennis, I, I don't want to hear nothing. Because Bud will be giving him an opportunity that, you know, people didn't give him. And he was far more accomplished. You had Herb talking about, well, you know, uh, Jerron fought two top 10 welterweight. Ooh, real Mon Vila wasn't no top 10 welterweight. I don't care what ranking system he used. And Sergey Lipiets wasn't a top 10 welterweight. He shouldn't even been the champion at 140. He, he, he robbed old buddy to get his belt. And then he another nigga that waited for Crawford to drop his belt to fight. You know? And where he at now? <laughs> Turned him top turn the offer down from top rank to sign the top rank in the fight bud where the fuck he at he got he got beat up by boots and never, never heard from again
come on, man. This, this man ain't, you know, he ain't even proved that he can pull anywhere. So y'all want to talk about draws and ticket sales. It, it becomes subjective to the person. Y'all don't want to see a fight. Y'all, oh, he can't do this. He can't do that. I'm telling you, this PBC ain't selling shit. And if they, if they was, if they was hustling, if they was progressively hustling, dude, man, come on, man. You would know it. They hustling backwards. This is why they leasing their fighters out like they budget rental car service. Niggas is broke with no dates. So, you know, Jerron Ennis, like I said before, with Boots, you know, we going to see what he on. They're going to see what they going to, we going to see what, 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 what he talking about. We going to see it. And when he get clipped, I ain't want to watch how they move the bar again. This, this is why, you know, and I can see things from both angles. This is why I see why Canelo like, man, fuck, I'm going to fight Benavidez, fuck. This motherfucker can't sell 100,000 pay-per-views, and if I beat him, all they going to do is say, well, you know, they was no real fight, or you drained them, or, or this, that, and third. Which he do be draining, nigga. That's on him. You find it funny when you, you know, you, you know, you have a competitive advantage versus a guy people don't like. Like Ryan and Devin, nobody said, well, you know, you know, the weight didn't really matter. And if the weight don't matter, <laughs> then why we make the weight? I, I just be listening to what a lot of these niggas be saying, dog. You know what I'm saying? And you can't trust nobody's opinion in boxing for real. Especially anybody that's in the sport. These niggas got personal vendettas that a lot of y'all don't even know about. You know, the weight don't matter for real, man. And it don't, it ain't gonna make no, if it don't matter, why we make the weight then? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If it don't matter, throw the weight classes out. <laughs> it had nothing to do with it. Not to be listening to people, bro. I'd be like, man, how do y'all listen to this bullshit? You know? Because they pin is based, it's on a fight by fight, fighter by fighter basis. If they don't like the nigga, they gonna be like, we well, didn't really, I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all niggas, man. This is why you got to make your own determination, man. But I understand why Canelo act the way he do because damn if you do, damn if you don't. If I fight the guy, if I go ahead and put them paws on this guy, y'all going to turn around and, and discredit me. I ain't going to get my credit. And that's social media. These bots got a voice on social media and every clown got a voice on social media. So if you damn if you do, damn if you don't. You you know, and what's for whatever reason, whatever the psychology is around social media, we see the negative comments. The negative comments feel louder than the positive comments. That's fucked up. You could be looking at your comment section just scamming through and the negative comments stand out. I listened to the anchor man. He said, I don't even go through the comment section no more. I've been stopped. I go through it every once, once in a while. When I do live, I try to get to everybody comment if possible. Or you can super chat in or cash app in and I'll read the comment. Memo in, PayPal in, whatever you choose to do. And I'll and I, and I, and I read the comment. Real spill. But, you know, I was listening to another brother. I forget his channel, man. He got a channel. He always in the car, a truck driver cat. And, uh, you know, he was talking about how people was, you know, basically discouraged. He was almost discouraged to stop making content. His, his channel growing or whatever. And he, you know, was thanking his cousin for telling him to keep. Yeah, you got to keep going, man. Like, fuck these niggas, man. If they comment a negative talk on your, your, on your channel or whatever you're doing, you know, your business and you doing pretty good or you going in the right direction and they, it ain't constructive criticism. They just talking shit. That mean you doing something right, bro. Niggas is jealous. But you got time to stop in and type. And anytime somebody leave a comment, thumbs down the video, thumbs up the video, they help you in the algorithm. So if they ain't paying you no attention, then hey, that's worse than them giving you some attention. But Canelo, Canelo right though, man. Like, come on, man. If I do, y'all ain't gonna do shit, but, you know, move the bar again. But, hey, I understand from that standpoint of a fan, hey, man, that's your duty. If you, if your job is, is paid to do a service and people pay to see if do a service and they, they give your time to do a service, you should fight who people want to see you fight. 
that's just what it is. You know, uh, you know, McDonald's will go out here and sell, just say, we're going to sell all salads. They go bankrupt. They give people what they want, burgers, fries, and bullshit. So you got to give people what they want, but hey, that's on him. That's on him. For real. So, but, uh, but yeah, he said he want to make these fights and, you know, better be Evan Beeble. Benavidez Vidas not fighting no better BF. He fight Bebo because he sparred him. He fight better BF, I'd be shocked. Unless better BF look very vulnerable against Demetri Bill. Guaranteed. You know, could he beat better BF? Absolutely. Could he beat Bebo? Absolutely. Why not? But you got to understand, better Benavidez is one of their last bargaining chips. <laughs> it's Tank and Benavidez. That's two of their last bargaining chips. They ain't got shit else outside of him. So if they're going to sacrifice, you know, Ben Davidez, then this, this the tank really ain't never fighting nobody. You, so you fighting Frank Martin, man, he fighting Frank Martin because Frank Martin lost that last fight in a lot of people's opinion. If Frank Martin got rid of artichoke, uh, spinach artichoke fast, man, we're going to knock them out. Man, Tank Davis would dream getting in the ring with that Negro. I'm going say that shit right now. But, you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, so, you know. A lot of the PBC niggas was hating on Turkey out of Sheik. You know, all them PBC fighters on Terrence Crawford and Adam all of undercard. Now they gonna change their opinion and start getting on their hands and knees for Turkey out of Sheik. Just like how they was talking shit about Eddie Hearn, then they start, you know, kissing Eddie Hearn's ass. You know? So, these niggas fickle as hell, but hey, it is what it is, man. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure the button, hit the bell icon button, hit all notifications, increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. You want to support the channel? Cash out, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link description. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Kick, and much more. Peace.